everyone, it's Josh Smith with Notebooks.com. Today I want to show you a new mouse. It is the SwiftPoint mouse, which you can see is right here on the little parking accessory. Uh, charger slash USB receiver that it comes with. This is a new mouse. Uh, it comes from a company in New Zealand. Retails for about $69.95 right now. I think the regular price is $79.95. It has what they call a pen shape, so instead of holding it like you would a normal mouse, you put your thumb on the red part, you put your middle finger over here, and then that leaves your pointer finger to do the clicking. And you can either scroll like this, or you can tilt and do what they call side scroll. So you can see as I scroll here, it scrolls the web page. And if I hold the right click, it'll go like you're doing a page up or page down. If I hold the left click, it will do zoom. Um, it works right here on the edge of your notebook is where I use it most. Kind of, It's meant to be used on the go. It's not something you're going to use at your desktop, um, maybe in your hotel room, on a train, in the passenger seat of a car. What's kind of nice about it is it'll work here. Uh, on a few notebooks we tried, you can even edge up onto the keys. It doesn't work so well on the white keys here. Um, if your notebook has a glossy finish like this does and it's having trouble reading it, you can put what they call the parking accessory on here and it's just kind of a um, oh like something that's not so reflective to give it a better surface to mouse on. It's a laser mouse, has a pretty small battery but what's nice is 30 seconds of charging put this over here for 30 seconds, if it were dead after 30 seconds I would have an hour's worth of charge. Um, so, while using it, the first time you pick it up, it kind of feels a little bit awkward, especially if you're used to using a normal mouse. Um, and one thing that's nice is, because you're going to be using it at different angles, you can set which direction is up by holding down these two buttons. Uh, so if I hold down the left and the right mouse button, I can set this direction is up, say a little bit later. I'm at a different angle, I can set this direction is up. Uh, a little bit of customization there. There's no software that gets installed. Uh, so you're kind of limited to the options and the features that I've just shown you. But so far, uh, after a few days of use and trying to replace the touchpad, uh, the company claims you're 40% more productive. That's based on a study <clears throat> that a local university did. Um, I find I'm more of a mouse person. So I guess it'll kind of go back to if you're really comfortable with the touchpad and you love the touchpad you might not see as much productivity gains uh, but after a few days of playing around with it and kind of getting used to the different functions I will say that I'm at least as good as the trackpad and I enjoy uh, using a mouse in a, such, in a setting where you wouldn't normally have that mouse available. Um, so as I showed you, you can do a side scroll. I'm going to kind of turn it so you can see. So this is your side scroll you can also use your finger there. One thing that's nice is if you're typing you can turn a setting on so that it will, the mouse will only move the cursor while you have your middle finger touching right here. Once you remove it, you can move it around, toss it off to the side, leave it here, it can jumble around, it won't actually move the mouse um, until you touch it. And then again when you're done with it you can stick it over here the little charging station receiver uh, right here you just pull out uh, it can hook on your mouse and so if you're going from place to place you can leave it in there and carry it you know into your meeting room uh, what have you the one thing that I really find myself missing is a middle click or something you know what I like to do is I like to use the scroll to get through Google Reader and I'd like to open up things in the background with a middle click on, on the mouse instead of having to hold control uh, with my other hand. Another thing that's really would be really nice is if I'm doing some web browsing, I wish I could change what these do. I don't zoom in or out a lot. I wish I could hold down left click and either move to the left or do something with the scroll wheel to go back a page. Uh, maybe some gestures would be nice for a future version. But uh, overall, I like it. Um, again, a little bit of awkwardness to get used to, and it is kind of pricey for a mobile mouse. 
at $69.95, but not too expensive if it's something that you uh, will find yourself using quite a bit. So again, that's the Swift Point mouse, sometimes called the future mouse in the advertising, with your thumb grip, your left click here, your right click, your scroll wheel, and then where your middle finger goes, where there is a sensor right in here that detects when to turn the mouse on and, and detect movement. So this is Josh Smith with Notebooks.com giving you a look and a mini review of the SwiftPoint mouse.